their own fears. Visibility is an inspiration. Showing that fears may be faced and survived daily is the very example that many people need in order to face their own fears. And that, that goes not just for transgender people, but for everyone. Bravery is an inspiration. Rachel, you, you inspired me. Her inspiration helped me out in the closet. And it, it inspired me to give back. You know, the, the events that my group hosts, we bring hundreds of us together every year. At every event, we take large groups of transgender individuals into the very face of mainstream America. And mainstream America sees us. And they do not see shame. What they see is the beautiful truth that we represent. And they learn. And hopefully, we move the ball down the field a little bit for the next generation. At every event, we have new girls facing their fears often for the very first time, finding the courage they need in the numbers that we attract, walking into mainstream spaces en masse, and proudly claiming their right to be there, their right to exist, and experiencing the joy, the truly unbridled joy of blasting through that fear to the freedom beyond. And their example stands out as an inspiration for those whose own fears still hold them back. Just as, just as Rachel was a beacon for me and so many others, each and every girl that sets out on one of our invasion events serves as a beacon to more. And make no mistake, there's a lot of us. There's far more than anybody realizes. Gender is not a binary. Once you accept that, you have to understand there are many people out there who are transgender, somewhere stuck between the poles. Many of them not even understanding who they are yet, let alone accepting it. And every day, more and more of them see the example of those of us who are visible, and they find the courage to accept themselves and to stand up and say, I exist. You know, it's really ironic to me but think about this. Visibility itself is the single greatest tool that we have in fighting for our own right to be visible. <laughs> I told you there was irony coming. So just do it. Just do it. I mean, I ask you to. Stand up. Encourage others to. Be seen. Come to an event. And invite others to meet you there. You know, this summer, a little pride here, this summer our team is expanding our July invasion into a new event that we call Transfusion. It's going to be longer. It's going to be in July down at the Trumbull and Porter Hotel. We're finally adding workshops. <laughs> we're going to have speakers. We're going to have all kinds of things. We hope to see this become a truly national transgender conference right here in Detroit. And it's going to happen. You know, I, I'm not from here. <laughs> I'm a transplant. But I love this town. I love this city. I love this state. I love the people in it. I am so proud of our community. We just, we just elected Dana Nessel Attorney General. <laughs> Is that awesome or what? I think, I think, I have so much confidence and pride in our community, I think we can serve as a beacon, just as Rachel has. I think we can serve as a beacon to the entire nation, to the entire world, an inspiration. I say, let's make her proud. Yeah? Thank you.